Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a complex trigonometric expression or a trigonometric complex expression. We have sine of z times cosine of w plus sine of w times cosine of z. z and w are complex numbers. So to be able to simplify this expression I'll be presenting two methods and the first method actually uses a really nice identity known as Euler's formula. So many years ago Euler came up with this e to the iz can be written as cosine of z plus i sine of z. Obviously you can replace z with negative z and get e to the negative iz equals cosine z because cosine is even minus i sine z. And by adding and subtracting these two equations we come up with two identities which I went over in the lecture notes. So if you haven't checked those and you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check them out. Okay, now let's see how we can simplify this. So from these two equations, we get the following identities, one for cosine and one for sine. So cosine of z basically can be written as e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by two simply add these two equations and sine is going to cancel out and sine z is going to be e to the iz minus e to the negative iz divided by 2i. So pay attention to the second formula in particular. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use these identities. First of all we're going to replace sine z with that and sine z is going to be e to the iz minus e to the negative iz and we can kind of move these to the left a little bit to make some room. So e to the iz minus e to the negative iz divided by 2i. That's sine of z multiplied by cosine of w. Obviously you can replace z with w. You're going to get e to the power iw plus e to the negative iw divided by 2. That's sine w sine, sine z times cosine w and then now we have the sine w which is e to the iw minus e to the negative iw divided by 2i multiplied by cosine of z which is e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by 2. We have a common denominator that comes from here so let's go ahead and simplify the numerator by distributing right let's go ahead and multiply these when we multiply these two things e to the iz and e to the iw we basically get e to the power iz plus iw which can then be written as e to the power i times the quantity z plus w. Make sense? That's the type of notation I'm going to use. So we'll start with that e to the i times z plus w and then the next term is going to be plus e to the iz minus iw so we're going to subtract z minus w with i and then minus we're going to get e to the i times w minus z and then finally we're going to get minus e to the power negative time i times z plus w. These are going to be the first four terms and now we're going to do the same thing here. It's not going to fit so I'm going to use the second row. The next one for that it's going to give me e to the power i times w plus c which is the same thing as we got before and then plus e to the power i times w minus z and then minus e to the power i times z minus w and finally minus e to the power negative i times z plus w. So this is what happens when you add these two things some terms are going to cancel out such as this one and this one and this one and this one and then we get these twice so go ahead and double that to and obviously don't forget the denominator because we're going to get a common denominator at the end right but we're going to be getting from here 2 times e to the i times z plus w minus 2 times e to the power negative i times z plus w all over 4i. Let's simplify this a little bit shall we? We can actually factor out a 2 and simplify. You don't need to worry about changing the i at the bottom because that's going to be helpful. Okay so don't change that. So this gives us e to the power i times z plus w minus e to the power negative i times c plus w and that is divided by 2i. Now take a good look at this. What does this look like? 
If you don't see it right away, don't worry, because you can use substitution to make it a little easier on yourself. Suppose z plus w is equal to u, right? Then we get something like e to the i u minus e to the negative i u divided by 2i. Okay, do you remember what it what it is? We talked about this. Yes, it is sine of a complex number. You see, e to the iz minus e to the negative iz. We have the exact same scenario. So this is actually equal to sine of u, right? Okay, but what is u? u is z plus w. So let's go ahead and replace u with z plus w. And our expression in the simplest form is going to be sine of z plus w. If you don't know what z plus w is, it's not given. Therefore, we're just going to leave it at this. Make sense? Let me go ahead and write down the left-hand side so together they make more sense, hopefully. Okay, we're going to have a minus sign. We have the same thing with a minus i, and all of that is divided by 2i. And yes, trigonometrically, complex numberically, they are the same. Okay? Sounds good? Now let's go ahead and take a look at another method, shall we? So we have the following. Let's call this second method and see if you can come up with a third one. We have sine of z times cosine of w plus sine of w cosine of z. I hope this is not confusing, but if you think this is confusing, you can always use parentheses around the arguments. Most of the time it's understood we're dealing with trigonometry. Some people find it a little confusing which I understand. Anyways, so this is the type of expression we are trying to turn into another form, right? And here's the thing. This is actually the sum formula for the um, for sine. In other words, this is equivalent to directly, if you know the formulas, obviously, if you memorize this formula, you should know that this is the same thing as sine of z plus w, right? Wow, that was quick because this is an identity. Now, in case you didn't know this, you could probably do some other methods, right? You could draw a rectangle and then make some angles, you know, like this. Use a right triangle, use some similarity, you know, call this alpha, call this beta, so on and so forth, whatever. But do a little bit of geometric, geometric work and then eventually you should come up with something like this. But they, that's basically what it is. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.